Triton co-eds at Florida State University in Tallahassee walked a class in groups today while detectives tried to track a man who slipped into a sorority house early yesterday and murdered two women. David Dick reports. The killer struck first at the Chi Omega sorority house. Police say he simply walked in through an unlocked door. They say he was armed with a heavy oak log. He clubbed and then strangled to death 20-year-old Lisa Levy and 21-year-old Margaret Bowman. At least one of them was raped. Then he brutally beat three more sleeping co-eds, Karen Chandler and Kathy Kleiner. Cheryl Ann Thomas was severely beaten in her apartment six blocks away. Their conditions today, fair to serious. The killer came in from the night and then returned to it with an ease that has so far baffled police and left most co-eds here terrified. Blood-stained bed sheets and numerous bags of other evidence were prepared at the Tallahassee Police Department for transfer to the crime lab. Sergeant Howard Winkler was one of the first on the scene. When he hit the girls, uh, I just don't think they had a chance to, to fight back. I think he just went in and hit them. I just don't think they had a chance to cry out. Captain Burl Peacock of the Criminal Investigation Division says he thinks it will be a very difficult case to solve. What kind of a person do you think is at large? Well, I'd rather say we've got a very disturbed, sick individual. A university crime prevention officer visited Florida State sororities today, urging house mothers to take stricter security measures. But many co-eds remained worried and badly frightened. I think everybody's scared all the time. I'm even just walking to classes. And today we've been keeping our doors locked during the day, too, which we don't usually do. The front door of the Chi Omega house was not only locked today, a policeman stood guard on the other side. The house mother stepped out a few moments but would not talk in front of a camera. She said, they were just lovely girls. It has been a harrowing experience. David Dick, CBS News, Tallahassee. FBI agents and Florida police are questioning a man by the name of Theodore Robert Bundy about the killing of two Florida State University co-eds in January and attacks on three other co-eds. Bundy had escaped New Year's Eve from a Colorado jail where he was a suspect in 36 rapes and murders, mostly in the West, over a seven-year period. He was recaptured Wednesday morning, arrested in Pensacola, Florida, on a stolen car charge. But he gave the police another name, and it wasn't until last night that he was identified as Bundy. All the police are saying for now is that Bundy is cooperating and talking with investigators. The car he was driving had been reported stolen in Tallahassee, the scene of the Florida State campus problem. Leslie? President Carter leaves today on his... Pensacola, Florida police are questioning a man they say may be one of the worst sex murderers of all time. We have a report from Bruce Hall. Police arrested this 31-year-old man after a high-speed chase Wednesday morning in Pensacola, Florida. He claimed to be a Florida State University law student, but now he has been positively identified as prison escapee Theodore Bundy, a suspect in the rape murder cases of at least 36 young women in California, Washington, Oregon, Utah, Colorado, and Michigan. He is also on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Among the first to arrive to question Bundy were these detectives from Tallahassee, Florida, where two co-eds were murdered and three others savagely beaten last month. Tallahassee officials would not talk to the press, but they did talk to the state attorney in Pensacola. I do know, though, that they told me that he was a definite suspect in their investigation. It has been learned that Bundy has been living in this Tallahassee apartment since a few days after he escaped from a Colorado prison on New Year's Eve. The apartment is less than a mile from the Chi Omega sorority house at Florida State, where the highly publicized attacks took place in mid-January. When Bundy was arrested, police said he had in his possession 21 stolen credit cards, all from co-eds at the university. This afternoon, Bundy was taken to court, where he was ordered held without bond. He will remain in Pensacola under tight security until authorities can determine if he will be charged with the Florida State University murders and what state has the strongest case against him. Bruce Hall, CBS News, Mobile. There was an indictment last night in the aftermath of a brutal crime in Tallahassee, Florida. And what was unusual about the indictment was how it was delivered. John Hollenhorst of KSL-TV reports. 
Last January, two Florida State University sorority sisters were strangled and beaten to death in their sleep. Three other young women were severely injured. The crime touched off a massive investigation that led to Theodore Bundy, a 31-year-old former law student who has been kept in isolation since his arrest last February on auto theft and forgery charges. The FBI lists Bundy as a suspect in at least 36 sex murders in recent years, mostly in Western... He was arrested. Last night, he tried. Well, listen, I've been kept in isolation for six months. I've been kept away from the press. I've been buried by you. You've been talking for six months. I think it's my turn now. All right? We got a court order that you, there won't be any press interviews. Sure there won't be any press interviews. You've given them out. I'm, I'm gagged. You're not. Okay. At a press conference a few minutes later, Sheriff Casares admitted there might be a problem with pretrial publicity. I think everybody has concerns about how a case is handled. Uh, I share those concerns, but also know of the public's right to at least be informed of the steps of justice as they proceed. This is only the second time Bundy has been formally charged with murder. He was scheduled for trial last winter in Colorado for killing a nurse. But on New Year's Eve, he escaped from jail and fled to Tallahassee just two weeks before the sorority house murders. John Hollenhorst for CBS News, Tallahassee, Florida. In Burlington, Vermont, a federal grand jury has indicted Christina Burster on charges of immigration law violations that could get her 26 years in prison. She was